All right, so today we are going to be transferring all of this stuff onto a piece of perf board here. So this is, I think, uh, 10 by 15 centimeters or something like that, 9 by 15. Something along those lines. It's the biggest piece that I have, and hopefully everything will fit on here okay. And the goal is just to get all this stuff off the breadboard and on to here. So, I guess, go ahead and just get started. All right, so this is mostly complete. Uh, we're not quite completely finished with it yet. I need to get uh, power input and output wires put into it and hooked onto the current sensor board and the main uh, MOSFET in there. It turned out uh, reasonably okay. My soldering job's kind of messy. I'm not the best at building prototypes like this, but uh, Anyway, I think it will work. I am going to test some stuff out before I put the Arduino and the uh, more sensitive chips in it. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to a current limited power supply first, measure a couple of voltages to make sure that we're okay. Then we will go ahead and test this out. I'll we'll check the basic functionality of it. We'll see how well this works now that it's on a proto board here. Also, another thing I want to mention, I left quite a bit of space in this area so that I can add more things to it or put on one of those uh, STM blue pill boards, as they're called, because uh, I'm kind of thinking about using one of those for this project. But anyway, that took a good four hours, actually. That was uh, quite the long soldering job. But anyhow, let's go ahead and hook this up somewhere. I should be able to go right onto the voltage regulator tab there for the ground and then our 12 volt line is up here. And if I turn this on, nothing should really happen. We're drawing about 4 milliamps, which is probably just the fluorescent current of these two devices here. So I'm going to grab one of these and one of these and we'll just check a couple of things here in the Arduino. 
So I'm just going to kind of cross reference this and see where everything's supposed to be at. Plus, uh, the board is relatively color coded. All the red wires are positive of some sort. Some of them are positive 12 and some of them are positive 5. So should have probably used separate colors for that, but that's all right. Uh, the yellow is all the LCD digital lines. The blue is the controls for the uh, cell, individual cell balancing, and then all the green is the analog stuff. So first off, between these two points, I should have five volts. And I do, 5.00. So at least that's telling me that nothing is majorly shorted out. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up an actual battery to this and just see what happens here. It shouldn't do much, but I can test some of the basic functionality of this thing to make sure uh, everything is hooked up right. If I plug this in, looks like one of our balance circuits is stuck on for some reason or another. Have to see what's causing that. And I should still get five volts across this. It's the exact same thing, it's just being powered off of a battery instead of... Yeah, nope, I'm only getting one point something now, that's interesting. Oh, wait a minute, do I actually have a ground connected anywhere? <laughs> that might be a problem. I don't think I do. I don't think I actually have a ground connected up. I bet if I hook this up, it'll start to work. Still don't know why that balance circuit's on there, but figure it out. Yeah, I don't think I have a ground hooked up to the battery, so yep, five volts, there we go. Missed one of the most obvious things I had to hook up. And on the five volt line, I should be able to trigger the balance circuit, so there's one balance circuit. There's the center balance circuit, and then the very last one here is just unresponsive for some reason. Another thing I wanna check is that our analog voltages all make sense and aren't uh, like way, way too high, like I'm sending 12 volts straight into the Arduino, because that wouldn't be a good thing to have happen. We've got 2.48 on that one. That's a good chance that that's actually the uh, voltage reference. This one has 1.19, so that's the 11 volt point. We've got 0.8 volts, so that'd be the 8 volt point. So the last balance circuit over here is not behaving very well. I'm not actually, the interesting thing is I'm not getting the uh, voltage of the cell back to the Arduino here, I don't think. That would be this one. Yeah, I don't have the cell voltage on there at all. 100 millivolts, these other ones should have the actual voltage across it there. That's 8 volts and then this one will be the full 12. So I'm going to have to see what's going on with that one. But let's go ahead and unplug this for the moment. We'll go ahead and plug in our LCD. And I will get the Arduino that actually has the programming on it. Plug this guy in here. Should go in, there we go. A lot of pins that have to line up. Keep our battery ground hooked up. And the ACS712 board can go in. We'll make sure the light comes on on that. Let's see if this works. All this stuff comes on anyway. Yep, there we go. The LCD is working. And I don't know if you can see it there, but the light is on on the ACS712 board, so that's got power. 
uh, all the voltages are just going to be completely wrong right now because we're reading zero volts on the first cell. Though, actually cell number three seems like it's right. Alright, so most of this appears to be functioning properly, at least with the LCD and all that. I could go ahead and check and see if the, uh, we've got the potentiometer here for the contrast adjustment. Yep, that works just fine. So, I've got to figure out what's going on with this cell balance circuit, and then I've got to connect a ground from the battery back over to the Arduino. And then the only thing left to do will be getting all the uh, power input and output wires hooked up on this thing. So uh, I'll go ahead and start working on this. All right, so I found a few problems. One of them was that I had the voltage sense wire for the last cell here that wasn't hooked up in the right spot. And also I had the positive 12 volt wire hooked up to the wrong spot on this transistor here and that's what was causing this to stick. So now we are measuring all the cell voltages. I need to calibrate it again. Uh, it's pretty close, it's just not quite perfect. And I also need to uh, get the amp offset set up so that that's at zero again by default. And of course I need to finish what little bit of wiring is left on this. And we will have a working soldered up prototype for this thing. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this and uh, I'll come back to you when it's finished. All right, so this is what the finished product looks like. I have soldered on some leads and some XT60 connectors. So I've got the input and the output as well as our same JST connector for our 3S balancing. On the bottom here, used a bit of hot glue to hold the wires in place and kind of act as a strain relief. Unfortunately, the first time I did this, when I soldered this wire, the insulation melted back and there's a transistor right there and the positive 12 volt line actually got shorted to that transistor and when that happened, it blew out one of my Arduinos, but that's okay because I have uh, stockpiles of these little Arduino Nanos, so it's not too big of a deal. But anyway, this is basically the finished product, at least for now. It's enough to do some testing and things on. I also have this board that can be put onto it, and this is something that I showed in a previous video where I can use one analog input pin in order to check four push buttons. And then this will be used for navigating the menus and whatnot. Now, as I mentioned before, I've got plenty of space if I still want to add some stuff, so I should be good if I do want to change anything with this or add features to it, uh, what have you. All right, so that's about it for this video, guys. In the next video, I'm going to go over the calibration process for this thing as well as probably giving it a little bit of a test and see if we can actually charge a battery with it. If you enjoyed the video, thought it was interesting, cool, useful, hit that like button, consider leaving a comment, and you can also follow me on Twitter if you like. The link for that is in the description. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.